please do not buy exhaust until you watch this video okay don't do it what's going on i got a question for you guys uh have you ever wanted your truck to sound like this I'm here to tell you, you can, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did to make my truck sound like that. Before we get started, why don't you go down below, click that red button that says subscribe. Subscribe to the Rogers Land channel. Also, hit that notification bell while you're at it. You'd be doing yourself a favor, all right? All right, guys, so I'm gonna tell you five things you need to know before you buy an exhaust and get an exhaust put on your vehicle. Tip number one, do your research, okay? What I mean by research, go on Google, uh, go on YouTube. YouTube is a great place to find out what vehicles sound like with other kinds of exhaust. I just showed you sound clips of my 2018 Tundra. You could type it in in your search engine 2018 Toyota Tundra with a Flowmaster Super 44 or Flowmaster Super 10 or a MagnaFlow exhaust system. It will literally pull up every single video of what it would sound like, okay? Also, look at different places, okay? Like, go to Amazon. Amazon sells them. Go to a muffler shop muffler shop sell mufflers uh, you can go to a shop that specializes in exhaust work I mean you do your research go ask questions okay don't do something you're gonna regret to your vehicle until you know what you want to do tip number two budget when is budget not a problem right Budget is always going to be a problem when it comes to any anything you're buying. So it is important to have a budget. And what I mean by budget is you have to buy a muffler, right? You're buying tips, right? Or you're using current tips that you have. Uh, do you want a single in, single out? Or do you want a dual in, dual out, like a true dual? All those things cost different amounts of money. So you have to come up with what you want on your vehicle by doing your research like tip one told you and telling a person what you want and then they give you a cost analysis of what you want right mine i had a buddy do it for me i bought a muffler i bought a super 10 from flowmaster and it was about i think it was between 40 and 80 dollars i could not remember how much it was but I wanted something that was aggressive, mean, because when you turn on a Tundra, the first thing you hear is the fan, right? Uh-uh, you got a truck. We need some aggression, man. We need some aggression. Tip number three is gonna be your choice selection of what you want as far as tips, mufflers, and how you want it set up, right? Do you want it coming off the sides? Do you want it coming from underneath the back door? Do you want it to go straight out the back like a straight pipe, right? Mine are basically going straight back. So, I mean, you saw it in the video. Mine goes literally straight back. And for you guys that are wondering what is on my truck that you guys have tundras and you wanna know what I have on mine and why it sounds as good as it does, I have the 5.7, right? The 5.7 V8 right here. And what I put on it was a Flowmaster Super 10 
with dual in, dual out. It's a true dual with two catalytic converters going out to the Super 10, going through the Super 10, two, two tips, dual out, three and a half inch tips, right? It looks mean and aggressive and it sounds mean and aggressive. That's what I wanted. So if you want that, I suggest you do your research for what you want on your vehicle. All right guys, tip number four, be sure that you want something, whether it be aggressive, mild, or quiet, okay? I want it aggressive, so it's loud. It wakes neighbors up, it pisses people off. I don't care, okay? So if you want something aggressive, I suggest you look into Flowmasters and uh, Magnaflows if you like the Magna Flows. If you like aggression, you're probably going to want more of the Flowmaster route, okay? The Magna Flow is a little bit more mild, I, I would say. It's a little bit more mild, it's a little bit quieter inside of the truck. Reason why tip number four is so important is because of drone noise. When you're driving down the street and you hear that drone coming off your exhaust. Mine, it's kind of loud. I'm okay with that. All right, so drone noise. Drone noise is what comes from the cab, right? You want something that is quiet, then you don't want something really aggressive. If you want something that's really aggressive, then it's gonna sound probably something like this. guys tip number five tip number five be sure this is what you want to do because once you do it there's no going back okay once you cut it's done it's like a surgery once you're cut open you've already started okay if you're in a shop and you you decide you don't want to go through with it well i mean he just cut your muffler off I guess he can weld it back on, but what good is that going to do? You know, he, you're still going to have to pay for labor for him going as, as far as he has. Okay. All right, guys. So I just gave you my five tips when it comes to getting exhaust put on your vehicle. Man, that thing looks really good and it sounds good too. Anyway, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Like leave a comment down below if you want more information from me about my truck about other vehicles let me know leave a comment thanks for watching peace